Hello percussionists and welcome to this video on the uh, playing of the B flat major scale. Your teacher may have showed you a particular place where this scale is located. I'm not sure that it's in the Accent on Achievement book. Actually, it's in the back, um, in the, I want to say somewhere around page 37, I think the B flat scale is. I'm actually going to play it out of the Festival Solos book. And I'm looking at page 17 in the mallet portion of the book where it says scale studies, B flat major scale. It has something called the major scale and the arpeggio and the thirds. Um, and the scale uh, starts in a B flat, goes up to a B flat, and back down to a B flat. And with these half notes and the whole notes, I think uh, on a xylophone especially, anything that's a half note or longer, you should play a single stroke roll. And if you haven't watched the single stroke roll video, you should make sure that you do that. Um, in, the con in the concert B flat scale, or the B flat major scale, there are two flats, and you can see the key signature uh, between the treble clef sign and the time signature. And the first flat that you come to is on the B line, so that's the B flat. And then the second flat that you see is in the E space, and that's the E flat. So starting on B flat, I'm looking at the mallet instrument here, and here we go. So you should practice that on your bell set. Just, just isolate those first four measures of the B-flat major scale. The next part is the arpeggio. And the arpeggio really outlines the, the chord or so uh, in the B-flat major scale. And you have the first note of the scale, and then the third note of the scale, the fifth note of the scale, the top note or the eighth note of the scale. It then comes down to the seventh note, the fifth note, the fourth note, the second note, and then the first note again. And in rhythm, the arpeggio sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And again, you're going to roll anything that's a half note or longer. And then the thirds are just what they say. You're going to go from the first note to the third note. So we call that interval the distance of a third because it's one, two, three notes apart. And then it does that all the way up the scale. So it goes. You'll notice that when it goes to the top, it gets to the top part of the scale in the thirds, it actually goes up to one higher note. It goes up to the next C above the top B flat. And then when you're coming down the scale, it goes below to the A before it comes up to the B flat. So you should practice that all in sequence, the scale, the arpeggio, and the thirds. If you'd like to do it with me, let's do it right now. One, two, three, four. Now you, you see that I'm rolling on this on the xylophone to sustain the sound. If you're practicing on a set of bells at home, it's probably not necessary to roll to sustain the sound because striking the bell, the metallic bell sustains anyway. And kind of rolling on the, on the bell itself is pretty harsh on the ears. Make sure that you don't strike too hard on the bells because they can be kind of piercing. They have a nice easy stroke, not too loud, not too soft either. Um, but make sure that uh, if you do roll, it's when you're at school and you're playing in the xylophone or the marimba, not necessary to roll on the bells. So, practice your B-flat major scale, practice your B-flat major arpeggio, and your B-flat major thirds, and you'll be in great shape. Okay? Thanks very much. Have a great day.